So this is the podcast too. And, uh, you know, my friends mean well and they tell me that I should not ramble so much and I should have structures and that is actually good advice. It's just that I am not that kind of person. I made, you know, two other podcasts in between already and I structured them. I wrote a script. I wrote down pointers. I hate those podcasts. Like, I just don't, I won't upload them. They suck. I want to put this shit out where I am just talking out of my head like i pick a topic and i just give you what i think so this is survival podcast 2 for musicians now again same premise you want to be a musician and you want to figure it out and you want to make a living out of it how do you do it well it depends on the current skill and ability you have but if you're listening to my podcast you probably are not in a place where you're putting you know complete pieces of music out there and you have a clientele that's buying it from you so what i'm talking about is something like maybe from you know something like from inception to invoicing (laughs) that's interesting i should write that down from inception to invoicing so uh, from inception to invoicing would be something like uh you know somebody tells you a situation and uh You're able to maybe even write the lyrics and get everything right. Write the lyrics, make the melody, put the instrumentation in, produce the song, record a singer, the live musicians, arrange it, produce it, mix it, master it, and keep your client involved along the way and be able to deliver what they wanted. Or maybe you want to just do that for yourself. Um, that's another journey. Okay. So I usually don't write the lyrics myself right now, but I am realizing that learning to write lyrics would be the key to having a good song. It's like, you gotta have the right ingredients. And the first ingredient for me is often the lyrics that I get to compose and to arrange and produce a song. So often I've realized that if the lyrics are not great, I always struggle more with the composition and the melody and the song structure. So not just that the lyrics have to be great for like a song, they also have to fit the genre that you're trying to fit. And also at the same time, they need to have some kind of a sense of structure and repeatability in them. That means often I get lyrics that's like paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, paragraph four, but there's no sense of like what would be a chorus and how to, you know, put it in a structure and make it repeatable. Because like right now, in fact, I'm working on a song that's verse one and chorus sound like great. And then verse two sounds different and it's a different mode, like a rag. And then verse three is different. And after a while, I'm like, okay, what's going on? Like n- things have to relate with each other. So maybe to begin with, stick with simple song structures. Like one of my favorite song structures is Smoke on Water by Deep Purple, you know. So it's a format, you know. It's the riff, then it's the verse, and it's the chorus, then it's the riff, then it's the verse, then it's the chorus, then it's the guitar solo. You know, it's, it's predictable. And start there. But more importantly, now you're like, what's Warren tripping on? I can't get to all this shit. I need to get my basics sorted. And that's where I want to say, learn everything you can. Don't be lazy. In fact, being lazy has rotten my mind more than anything else in the world. So if you're a singer, learn about harmony. If you don't already know about harmony, learn to play chords or at least understand how it works. Like even as a singer, you can sing the chord broken up like an arpeggio. All right. But yeah, understand everything possible with your style of music that you are into. That means understand harmony, understand rhythm, understand production, um, understand melody, be able to fit them together. And this might seem like a long journey, right? And yeah, especially if you're in India, have a basic understanding of Indian music. Understand Hindustani and Carnatic. And Hindustani and Carnatic, again, two broad categories, understand Hindustani and Carnatic melodic stuff and also understand Hindustani and Carnatic rhythmic stuff. Then you're golden. 
um, so Western harmony, learn it from jazz or learn it from classical music. Well, try and pick it up from jazz music and or pop music. But understand Western harmony and understand Indian melody and rhythm. You might just be in the right place for this location and you would understand what's needed. Now, um, it's a lot, right? It's a lot to process. You got to understand how melodies work, how rhythms work, how harmonies work and how all of how music production works to put it all together. But just pick one thing at a time, work on it and combine it with the other things that you already know. Over a period of time, all of this will start coming to you pretty much naturally. Um, but don't be lazy. Don't, don't say, because I do this, I don't need to do that. That's, what, that's where I also kind of like, I was lying to myself for a long time when I was like, okay, I play bass. I don't need to understand how lyrics work. That was a pretty bad approach. I mean, I, I got out of it eventually. Thank you. Thank you to the universe for making me work with lyrics. So I used to be like, I play bass. I don't have to write melodies. And from, you know, I don't have to work with lyrics. Well, if you start doing that, it helps you. So uh, basically, I'm trying to say create. Learn what is needed to create a piece of music and then go at it. And put it up on YouTube. Make anything, put it up on YouTube. That's the last part of this thing. That whenever you make stuff, even if you make a one minute piece, just try and make it good enough at some level with like maybe 10 excuses in your head, you still upload it and share it and send it to your friends and get their thoughts. There's no better learning than that. Send it to people who are much better than you and try and get some you know, positive critique out of it and learn to do it better and then compare what you put up as compared to similar other pieces of music. What I'm talking about is not gen genre specific, you know. It is just, you could do this with ambient music, you could do this with classical music. I'm just talking in very broad strokes right now. So this is the idea that don't be lazy be able to put a whole piece of music together. Do not be afraid of computers. Layer the shit that you're working on and play it back. And then call your friends, get their help and try and make it sound better. But just start putting your first multi-track sort of a project together and you will learn so much from it. You will get so much better that you won't believe me right now. So that's about it. That's the goal. Also, um, just gonna really quickly give you the broad things that you need to get to. So make, get a notebook out and write this down. You want to know how to program and play and put chords to a melody. You want to know how to make a bass line. You want to know how to make a groove like a drum part or a percussive part. You want to know how to make a melody. Then... With the chordal stuff, you can do synthy things and you can do arpeggiating things. Those are sounds and textures. But broadly, you want to understand bass line making, percussion, groove, drum line making. You want to know melody line making and you want to understand harmony. And these are the four big elements that you want. So think about it like a, like a four-piece band. And you want to be able to figure out basic parts of each one of those four-piece band members i know it might just seem like a little too much right now but trust me stick to it it works itself out soon one thing starts to tell you what the other thing should sound like and then songwriting kind of becomes a little more natural this was it i hope it helps you we still have to talk about how to get good i mean i i will share my ideas on that and i will also share my ideas on how to then Get good, make these samples, and then who do you send it to? And what do you do with it? We'll talk about that as well. But this is podcast two. I love rambling here. Bye-bye.